Ryan, what's the challenge in trying to make sure you stay out of long uh, downs or long distances on third downs? Efficiency on first and second down. You know, you have to be able to uh, to run the ball efficiently when we call runs and then, you know, get completions when we call pass uh, passes. You know, we got to stay out of penalty situations and, uh, and negative plays. Is that something that you guys had, seen, had been doing well? How much did maybe losing Derek impact that and uh, having to get more comfortable with the new, new faces? Yeah, obviously losing Derek is going to be tough, but um, you know, there's other, other factors there as well. I just don't think we played clean on first and second down, so definitely something we want to clean up. Mike, much is it? Give, your, give your team a record of where you guys are in the conference right now. There's been a lot of national people picking up on it and saying, oh, we got to start paying attention to the Titans now. Is that something you guys you know, talk about, think about, worry about, et cetera, any of the above? We're focused on ourselves. You know, We're focused on, on finding a way to win one game each and every week. Um, you know, stacking wins is a great thing, but the only way to, to keep doing that is to consistently work to get better. I uh, still have a lot of things we can be better at, and so we're excited for that challenge of, of working the details this week and, and going out and playing a good, a really good Saints team this weekend. The passing attack, Ryan, when you know Sunday you had a couple offensive line starters out in terms of maybe having to get the ball out quicker or, or routes that maybe can't go quite as deep as you'd like. Is there is there a significant change? You know, when you're when you're missing. Two, three offensive linemen. Yeah, anytime you're missing guys, you know it's it's uh, it's tough. You know whether that be an offensive lineman, receiver, or running back. Um, but we've had that next man up mentality, you know, since I got here. So I'm proud of the way that that some of the guys who stepped in in uh, in for us. You know, Bobby stepped in right right as the game started for us. So a tough situation for him, but he went in and and uh, played hard for us, gave us everything he had, and uh, Brewer, obviously, at right guard, you know, did a good job for us. So, yeah, it's tough whenever you lose, lose anybody, but, um, you know, I believe in the guys that we, we have stepping in there, and, um, you know, at some point, hopefully not, but there's chances are that at some point this season it's going to come up again, and, uh, you know, we have to trust the guys that go in there. Ryan, is there a balance in, in knowing that the, uh, the pass attack, the passing game needs to maybe carry the load a little bit more with – uh, maybe not trying to force the issue um, and, and trying to find your guys. Is there kind of a delicate, uh, you know, balance there um, with that? Balance between the pass game and, and what? Uh, Just in, in not, like, trying to force the issue, right? Like losing Derek, you know, maybe you have to kind of depend on the passing game a little bit more. Is there kind of a balance of knowing you have to kind of lean on that more and not uh, maybe trying to force the issue? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, obviously – being able to fill the football is going to be key for us, you know, the rest of the year, just like it would if uh, if Derek was here. Um, you know, I think this team is, is going to try to have balance, no matter no matter what the situation is, whether you know Derek's back there or not. We're going to try to establish the run. That's our foundation, and and uh, and build from there. And when we do get opportunities in the pass game, we have to execute. You know, we have to be able to uh, to get open on the outside. I have to hit them, and uh, the offensive line has to be able to hold up. When you about the Saints and what they do on defense, what are you watching them? What do they do that make makes it so difficult to move the ball in them? Really good defense all around. Uh, physical. They play fast. They play together. Um, their front is, is tough. You know, they're, they're making it tough to run the football. They're rushing the passer in passing situations. Uh, they really just are – uh, a really solid defense. Linebackers are flying around making plays. You know, Demario Davis is is in the backfield. He's in coverage. He's making tackles on the perimeter. Uh, really, you know, flying around all over the place. You know, secondary's physical. Uh, do a good job of covering. Safeties come up and will make tackles and, and hit. Uh, so you really look at at their defense. There's not a weak spot in it. And um, the challenge is going to be for us to go out and play really well. When you explained your vaccine decision to us, you said that there were basically protocols that that you couldn't you couldn't. Have couldn't have dealt with as a leader on this team to not eat with guys, to not to not be around guys. If somebody else didn't get the vaccine and still was able to do those things, how would that make you feel? I know I know what you're trying to get here, Paul, and uh, I'm just going to stay out of that one. Ryan, when it comes to this running backs group, clearly a lot different not having Derek right now, and there's still some transition happening. But do you get? Uh, a good energy from this group. It seems like a mixture of guys, a mixture of style. I mean, what have you seen in the short time that they've been together? Yeah, obviously, you know, just added a couple guys last week, so haven't had much time on task. But uh, yeah, I think, you know, adding uh, Adrian and uh, and Foreman have been good for us. You know, they're both both physical runners, 
Obviously, Adrian's downhill. He's, he's going to give you everything he has. Foreman uh, has good speed, good, good hands, and has great size as well. So uh, I think it's only going to get better with those guys. The more carries they get, the more they kind of get into the groove with our offensive linemen up front. So excited to, uh, to put in a good week of work this week and, and you know, head into next game feeling strong. We've seen the red zone efficiency touchdown-wise for you guys improve, and a lot of it is coming from you making plays with your legs. I know some of them are designed like boots, et cetera, but is that something that you have kind of like taken upon yourself to, to revisit, you know, being uh, able to make plays with your, your legs in the red zone? Yeah, I, th I try to uh, sort of always keep that in the back of my mind, right? Being able to, to extend plays or, or make plays on the ground with my legs, I think it gives the defense something else to account for and uh, has created some big plays for us offensively. So, um, yeah, I think that uh, if we can continue to do that as we move forward, it's going to be good for us. Can you uh, talk to Rabbit maybe a little bit about his knowledge of that Saints defense to help you? Yeah, I mean, having Rabbit on the team, it'll be, uh, be a good thing for us. Hopefully, um, you know, some good conversations will come from that. How frustrating is it when you face a well-coordinated pass rush that it's not just four guys kind of doing their own thing, but they always seem to be in spots that make it difficult for you? Yeah, it makes it tough, right? Because if they're uh, they're staying in the lanes, it limits the ability to use use my legs, like I just said, um, and it makes it tough on the offensive line because if they're executing, then our offensive line has to do a really good job of, of passing things off and and staying in sync and playing together as a unit. So um, that's part of being a a good front is being able to to do those things consistently. Do you think you have Isaiah Thomas and John Morant critiquing your finger roll? <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, I. Ben's got it down. Um, no, I, d I never thought that, that would uh, be be something, but uh, you know it's been fun to uh, to kind of incorporate that, and it's kind of grown, you know, since 2019. So uh, definitely a cool little feature. You know, my wife showed it to me um, Sunday after the game, so I thought that was pretty cool. Disappointed, Ryan, and, and Josh Reynolds' situation. I guess you got a little bit of history with them. I mean, not only that a friend goes, but that it just didn't seem to pan out the way you know maybe it was expected to. Yeah, I think it's, it's tough, tough for everyone. You know, bring him here, excited to have him. Um, obviously, things things didn't go like uh, like he wanted to or like we wanted them to. Um, but you know, he, he did some good things while he was here, helped us out, and so obviously, I wish him nothing but the best. You know, moving forward, hopefully, he lands in a great spot for him. Is it beyond anything beyond injury, you think, or was that the main reason things just didn't didn't work out the way that uh, people wanted, or, or what were your thoughts? I don't know. You'd have to ask ask Josh and uh, and John about that. How, how much um, when Mike did we did on Sunday? You made the decision to go for it on fourth and one in the goal line instead of kicking the field goal. How much juice does that give an offense when you are aggressive like that, and especially when you when you make it? Well, it's huge. You know, I think that you know we went for it a couple times on fourth down, and we were able to to su succeed in, in both both tries. So uh, you're able to uh, extend drives, sustain drives, and then obviously we scored on one of them. So uh, when you're able to do that, obviously it gives you a lot of, a lot of juice offensively and, and uh, that confidence from the head coach to, to allow us to go for it and, and make a play is huge. Because boots maybe would tighten up without there. Were you surprised to see so much green? Um, yeah, I didn't really know what the, uh, the corner was going to look like coming around the edge on the, that one. Uh, thankfully it was a clean, clean edge and was able to score.